Hello and welcome to Minding the Mindset. I've got yet another intellectual from this Mumbai city, a principal, a dynamic educator, Shunila Joy. Welcome so much to this interview. Thank you so much for having me here, uh, Mr. Dao. No, it is, it, is, it is so wonderful to see everybody connected. How are you keeping yourself busy now? Uh, well, it's work at home and work from home. So the whole day is occupied doing something or the other. Wow, all work and no play makes Shunila a dull girl. So what else are you doing? Netflix, of course. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to, yes, yes, I'm going to come and ask you about everything else work. you do. So you, I, I, how, how has the education system changed, right? So much has happened. Uh, and I think I address yes. you with joy because that's what you bring in everybody's life, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, joy is perfect because it's actually short and sweet. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is so easy and I think as a principal, yes. anyone who's joy, I think it's wonderful, isn't it? A, a principal with that world, I, I think your kids will love you. Yeah, they do. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Right. Tell me, one thing I really see is this, this last, you know, uh, uh, one month now, we've seen an entire world zooming their life. So right. how do you see the future of school, Joy, in the sense in five years, do we do more online technologies? How does it happen? Yes, actually, online technology has come to stay because it's completely changed everything. Uh, you know, as an attendance also, we have a lot of, uh, we have uh, a high attendance, especially in the higher grades. Okay, More well, children. Lovely. Yes, wow. because now they can access it right from home. Wonderful, and, right. Yes, and there are ways of monitoring the children. Parents are also very supportive. Teachers have taken to it very quickly. Everyone has adapted because as humans, we do adapt very quickly to the situation. True, true. So, so initially it was difficult just talking to a screen instead of interacting. But yeah. then I saw now there's some kind of online stuff also happening in discipline. So instead okay. of the teach, teacher saying, uh, don't disturb the class, they say, now don't use the chat box. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. <you> know, <laughs> so yeah. so we, the, the kids find new ways to amuse themselves yes. and teachers know new ways to discipline them, isn't it? Absolutely. Wonderful. Tell me, tell me one thing that you feel uh, as a challenge in online and one thing you see positive in online. Uh, yeah, one of the biggest challenges are, uh, you know, internet, because sometimes uh, there's no way of knowing whether a child has got an internet or just didn't feel like attending. Right, so right, that's, right. Yeah, so, and even for teachers, uh, okay. sometimes they may be in areas where they do not have proper internet connectivity. Yes, so, yes. That could be a proper real challenge, isn't it? That could be a major one because without that, how do they connect? Okay. But uh, apart from that, uh, another thing is that when a child is attending a class mm -hmm. and uh, very often we tell them, turn off your camera. I mean, yes, how do yes. you know whether I'm not playing something in my lap, some okay. kind of online right, game right, right. or reading something, you know? Okay. Side so by you, side talking. Yes, yes. So do you think the teacher should have like once a week Pokemon Go with all the kids every day? Once a yeah. week, that's it. <laughs> Probably then you'll have all the attendance, everyone coming in? Coming in. Oh, yes. Then they definitely. Right. So so what else are you doing, Joy? What's there? If I were to barge in your house, which I will not, of course, the, the hmm. lockdown is on. What will I find in your shelf? What books are, would I find? Oh, uh, well, I've got... Uh, I'm, Actually, not uh, on my bookshelf, but I've online. I'm planning to read uh, "Becoming Michelle Obama," so wow. that's my to-do list. I'm planning okay. to read that. Wow, dude, this uh, is so beautiful. Gender equality, goal five, so all about woman empowerment. Then, then yeah, I mean that's always there on my mind that I have to read that. And uh, I just finished uh, "Creative Schools," so that's a good book to read. So, Dr. Ken Robinson. Yes, Ken Robinson. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. So you you really enlist, you know enriching and enlightening yourself. I think we'll see a halo around you after the pandemic ends. I need a uh, a proper halo around me because of all the stuff I'm doing at home. I deserve one. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Most is going into the classes and school. And all right. Okay. Physical interaction. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I and think walking into the class, hearing the children, the teachers, everything. That whole atmosphere of school. Absolutely. You know, yeah. uh, there is this whole bloggers community uh, who actually are blogging the entire life, virtual life, but even mm. they meet once a year in Las Vegas just to shake hands. I think we need <laughs> yeah. that dopamine, we need that physical hug, isn't it? We do, we do. Uh, let me come to the other section, uh, Joy, the mm. don't mm. mind it section. I call it the Rasmi Khan section, so be prepared. Uh, 
Uh, and are you the principal not... there also commanding everybody from a spouse to your kids to do the whole thing? Absolutely. I've got everyone <laughs> worried and scared. And so they say, stop being a principal at home. Stop it over here. So, but then they have to listen. Because... That's in the genes, right? Yeah, yeah they... it's in the genes. Yes. Right. And then the dishes and though they all help everyone, it's division of labor. So okay. if I, if I uh, do the morning dishes, then someone will do the afternoon dishes and everyone has to do their own work. A proper division of labor there. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. And what are you binge watching? Um, well, season one, season two, I've just finished uh, the fall. That's okay. nice. I the love fall. these. Yeah, the oh. fall. It's all these criminal detective Oh, lovely. So you should watch Mindhunter as well. Yeah, I, I watched Mindhunter. Wow, so you're entering the criminal mind. Is it to do something with the elder kids you're taking classes with? <laughs> <laughs> they think like that. We <laughs> <Be> used to. We <laughs> used to, yeah. Well, I don't know. There's something very fascinating about that and even science fiction. Wow, then nice. I saw some of these very old shark movies and as a kid, I used to love them. I don't know why. Okay, Watch the jaws those. and all the steel. Jaws things. and all, yeah. Wow. I saw those. If you had to pick one Avenger from all this hustles, who would you pick up? Of course, Thor. Oh, Thor! Then, wow. Yes, I get I get to control the weather, so that would be really nice. Okay, turn and it's, it on. Okay, it's nothing it to do with how good the Thor looks, right? It's only of about course. the. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I have the muscles. <laughs> oh yes, yes, the god of Asgard. That's nice. Yeah. So, so if you interesting, Joy, if Rajini can't we come to your school, the Thakur International, what would you ask him to teach and why? Oh wow, I would ask him to. Um, my gosh, that's a tough one, no? What would he teach? I guess. Um, all those various dialogues that he teaches, the kids uh -huh. could learn a few because uh, they give us some, sometimes they give us these tall stories. Absolutely. So they would need to learn it from the king of, uh, you know, one -liners? making up stories. Yes, one-liners. Okay. And, and this, this guy is, despite all the aura and cult status, he's so humble, isn't it? And I, I admire him really. I, I did Definitely. engineering this, I'm very nostalgic about it. All right, uh -huh. one, one last question. This whole pandemic, you know, we all are locked down. How did it change you, Joy, as a person? It made me calmer because okay. there's no, you know, I mean, initially it was, I can't go out. I can't go out. Right. So, uh, you, the first, okay. yeah. Are you meditating I, also? Enjoy it. When did we ever get time to be at home with our loved ones for so long? Absolutely. Lovely. So yeah. this is the news to all the students and teachers. The new Joy that comes in is a more calmer person than she ever was. Yes. It's a good news, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, wonderful. One, one, one last scale of 10, how would you rate yourself as a cook? 1, 2, 10. How would you be on a cook scale? 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. On that note. And on, on as a principal? <laughs> as a principal, uh, that's something which I think others would have to rate me. But I would try to do my best. So wow. uh, whatever's lacking, I'll do better. That's, that's so humble of you. But with the cooking instinct, we are coming home after pandemic. When is the Dawah? Please Definitely. tell us. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joy. It was such a joy talking to you. So candid, so nice, so natural. And, and it was really nice that the teachers and students will see the other part of you. Thank you so much for having me here and have a wonderful uh, evening. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.